pay clashes yesterday ended a crazy 2021 and i hope all of you had a smooth start into the new year 2022 in today's video we're going to talk about the new updates in 2022 and what we can expect what we can hope for in this new year in clash of clans if you like videos like these, make sure to use a credit code when buying any of those offers or buying the new Gold Pass as well, which is out now. So thank you so much for that. Code Itsu if you want to support me, want to support this channel, like the videos which I'm doing over here. And I think we should get into what exactly happened in 2021, because this is where we should start before moving on to 2022. In 2021, we had, as always, four updates. The big first update was Town of 14 with the new pets as well. And then we had a couple of more updates, which were the Dragon Riders. We had the Rocket Loons with the Super Bowlers and the Super Dragons with the new Siege Machine, the Flame Flinger. So in general, a lot of new things, but the last couple of updates were not as big as a couple of, I think actually all of us were hoping for, but there were a couple of teasers. So apparently there was already a really big update supposed to happen in, and now be careful with the numbers, 2020 so it's like already i don't know over a year ago pretty much so what exactly was supposed to happen over there so there was supposed to happen to happen a big update in the december of 2020 but it did not happen so we didn't know what this update is if that was ton of 14 or it was a new feature or was i don't know whatever it could be and Darren teased us again the last year in 2021 that the update in December was that small because the big update is not ready yet. So what can we expect with this information in the new year in 2022? And what can we get out of this information as well for predicting the rest of the year? Because remember, all of those information are most of the time just pure speculation and based on the experience I have so far with Supercell and creating content for Super Bowl games now for already now quite some years. But the next update in 2022 should be a big one, right? Because we had now three kind of small ones. And as we said, Darren kind of teased this already that the next update should be big because they were just not ready yet. The next update should be around March, at the end of March maybe. This is where typically we have the first update of the year. Because, again, this is how the rhythm, how the structure works with the Clash of Clans. Because we have four updates every single year. One in the beginning of the year, one in the summer, one kind of like as before we have the big um, December update, kind of before the finisher, and yeah, then the big December update. So four updates in general, and the next update, the first one in 2022, should be a big one. But what gives this, like, this is giving us already a lot of information for the rest of the year, to be honest. A lot of information is in this. Because if you think about how long it takes for Supercell to create a big, uh, a big update, because the team is not that big, we know that the next updates in the summer, for example, of 2022, shouldn't be that big either. So what I would predict, and this, again, I want to highlight this, it's purely speculation, that the first update of 2022 is going to be the big one, I hope. I personally hope for a big feature, but we don't know yet what is about to happen. But then there's going to be two small updates, and I think we're going to finish 2022 with the Town Hall 15 update. I know there's a lot of people already like guessing, oh, maybe the summer update is going to be Town Hall 15, so the World Championship actually could be... I don't know, Town of 15 based. But remember one thing. As we have seen now over the last couple of years, and especially in this last year in 2021, um, Supercell or like the developer team, they are humans. And obviously they cannot like suddenly work, I don't know, 24, 30 hours a day. That's not possible. So we have now seen how long it takes for them to create a big, big update. So the summer update being big, or being Town of 15 is really unlikely. So with knowing all of this and knowing that the first update of the year should be most likely something big, it's really, really likely that the last update of the year is going to be Town of 15. What is going to happen in between of those two updates? If I guess, if I would need to guess, I would guess another two new super troops, like one super troop each. Maybe we could get another pet. Like this was... Uh, idea which a lot of people had that we have more pets than heroes because this would be kind of like creating a cool system where you actually have to decide which pet is the best for this specific hero and talking about heroes 
I mean, we know every second town hall level so far, there was a new hero. And town hall 15 should mean we have another hero. Five heroes in Clash of Clans? I don't know. Maybe town hall 15 is going to be the first update where this streak is going to be changed. Because let's think about this. One hero, two heroes, three heroes, they were kind of easy to handle. The fourth hero with the Royal Champion, you already have to kind of like really structure your attack, work around where to use which hero. So maybe a fifth hero is going to give too much chaos. But again, getting back to the pet system where I was talking about you have to choose the right pet for the right hero. Maybe you have to choose four out of your five heroes. Who knows? It's, as I said, only based on speculations. And I think John of 50 is going to give us a lot of, hopefully he's going to give us a lot of answers to a lot of questions out there. What is going to happen with the 100 building limit? There's a couple of things Supers has to work around. First option, obviously, is that they say, okay, they're creating more than 100 buildings. This would mean, though, that they're, if they keep staying with the full percentages, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then they have a big problem because, well, one building, one of those buildings, few of those buildings, won't increase your percentage. So they would need to work with, like, 1.5%, 1.68, whatever percent. So that would be a change as well. There's a lot of different options. They could maybe put all two collectors together to one super collector. So that could add some more buildings again. Who knows? I think Town of 15 is going to give us a really, really good idea of what the direction is going to be of Clash of Clans in general. Because there's a lot of problems to face. And this is another reason why I think the earliest we're going to see Town of 15 is going to be at the end of this year, 2022. The next thing is, Darian and the Supercell team said they like to have this update rhythm with the Town Hall level that every 18 months, so one and a half years, we're going to have a new Town Hall level. And this would fit perfectly. This would fit perfectly with the December update of this year. So that is kind of likely as well. But what is speaking against that? Well, we have the World Championship and the World Championship would be the first time to have a back-to-back -back World Championship on the same Town Hall level. We had the World Championship last year. Jax Tiger won that one. They were the champions of Town Hall 14. But this, like, my idea, my prediction would be based on that we're going to have another Town Hall 14 World Championship. Is this going to happen? I would love to hear your opinion about there. But now, the one thing what I'm wishing for for 2022. There is one thing I would love to see personally. And that is a feature... A game mode which I can play with my friends, with my viewers, with anyone in the game. And I don't care about the town level. We, I can just have fun, play this mode together with my friends, together with my clan. And this is the feature I, was, I, w I would love to see. I hope, I personally hope it's going to be the big update of the beginning of the year. Is it going to be? I don't know. But this is the one thing. If I would choose one thing which I'm wishing to come in 2022 in Clash of Dance, that's the one thing I'm wishing for. And now it's up to you. Let me know what you think is going to come in 2022 and what you would like to see in 2022. I would love to hear your opinions. I would love to chat about that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And let's have all a really cool, clashy 2022 with a lot of cool guides, strategies. And I will see you guys next tomorrow. Until then, see ya. And bye-bye.